final next weekend. I'm sure you're looking forward to that. Yeah, big occasion, big day. Uh, you know, that's where you want to be at the end of the year, so thankfully we're there now. Is it an added pressure being captain going into the game? A wee bit, yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, it's not just one man, it's all leaders there, so uh, everyone is looking forward to it, the whole parish, the whole club, so yeah, big build up. How do, have you reflected on the campaign so far? <laughs> Didn't get off to a great start and then kind of the groups turned out, turned out all right, just about, draw at the end to go through, so, and then we started playing good football then, and thanks for now we're here now. You've come through some tight matches in the group stage, does that give you extra confidence now going into the final? Uh, yeah, they did, like, you know, obviously them games are a big thing to play and, you know, they do, they do well for later on in the year, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> what can I say, looking forward to it, I suppose. How's the mood in the camp? Yeah, it's going good, yeah. Train's going well, you know. Looking forward to it. A lot of things to improve on for the last two goals, so everything is going well. The last time Kildare Strand Hill won the title was back in 2005, last in the county final in 2011, so it's a big occasion for the club and the parish, as you say. Ah, yeah, look, we've been in quarter, quarter finals and semi finals the past couple of years and just couldn't get over the line. You know, this year we said that, you know, at the start of the year we met, put one goal out, and that's where we are now at the end of the day, so. Thank you, no. The semi-final against St Mary's, as you mentioned yourself, a topsy-turvy one. Mary's could have come in for a couple of goals, but, but you guys battled really well. Yeah, you know, my keeper was on top form that day, and you know, I think they got like 10 goal chances or something. It's obviously something we can work on, so thank you, we've that, we, you know, we get a second chance to work on it, and looking forward to it. How does this Kilara Strand Hill squad compare to the other squads you've been involved in? Like it's, you know, it's your club at the end of the day, you know. You're growing up with a lot of lads or, you know, a lot of lads were four or five years ahead of me in school or some lads like Doyler's been playing for, since, I, since before I was born, I'd say. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, it's where you want to be, you know, it's your club, it's your family, it's your home. You know, that's where, at the start of the year, that's where you aim to be and thankfully you now that's where we are. Your opponents on Sunday are Tour de Strand looking for their fourth title in a row. How do you approach that challenge? Look, this Tour Strand, you know, they've a lot of big players, a lot of good set up there, good club, so, you know, if we know that if we play it to where we can, we, you know, we can win and we totally believe that, so looking forward to it. And for you, you've already enjoyed success with the Sligo Herders this year. Wouldn't it be nice to add a football medal to that collection? <laughs> yeah, oh, 100% it would be, yeah, you know. So, we've gone under Harlan last year for the club as well, so if we can go on and when enough for the football, we'd be very, very happy people. <laughs> Claire. <laughs>